OK, so here we go again. We have a nice, lovely, rational equation. And again, to kind of soul quiet down your fears, we can eliminate all of these fractions by doing one simple thing. That is, first of all, determining what the LCD is, each one of our fractions, and then multiplying by that value. So I look up here, I have an x, a 2, and a 2x. So what I need to do is determine what is the smallest term that each and every one of those values divide into. Well, if I say my LCD is 2x, we know that obviously 2x divides into 2x. 2 divides into uh, 2x, x times. And x divides into 2x, 2 times. So therefore, each one of my denominators divide into my LCD. So now to eliminate my, L my denominators, I'm going to multiply every single term by my LCD. And the way that this eliminates my fractions now is because now I have a part in each denominator that I know divides into LCD. Here, my x divide out to 1. Here, my 2's divide out to 1. And here, my 2x divides into the 2x, so it divides out. Therefore, leave me with an equation of 2 plus x squared equals x plus 4. Now, I simply need to get, now I notice that this is a quadratic now, right? So rather than just saying, oh, I just need to isolate the variable, we need to look into some factoring techniques. So when we have a quadratic, we want to get all of our variables to the same side and set it equal to 0. The reason why we want to set it equal to 0 is because we want to factor it and try to apply the 0 product property. So what I'll do now is I'll subtract an x. And so therefore, I get 2 plus x squared minus x equals 4. Then I'll subtract 4 here. So now I'm just going to rewrite this in descending order. So I'll have x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. Now I need to determine, can I factor this any forward? What two numbers multiply give me negative 2, but then add to give me a negative 1? Well, we could say that's going to be x minus 2 times x plus 1 equals 0. And now that I have a product equal to 0, I can apply the 0 product property, which says x minus 2 equal to 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. And now what I've done is I've created two linear equations that equal 0. So now I can simply use my inverse operations to solve. So x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. So therefore, this rational expression or rational equation has two solutions. Thanks.